Peace everybody, my name is Eric James Montgomery. I am a fine art photographer based out of Camden, New Jersey. And these are select images from my Red, White, Blue, and You 2020 online photography exhibition. This first image is titled, Salute the Flag, where we see an African-American man covered up by the American flag with a noose around his neck, but still saluting the American flag. This next image is titled, Whistling Dixie, Ode to Emmett Till. Emmett Till was a 15-year-old boy who was killed simply for whistling at a Caucasian woman. This next image is titled Crossing the Line, Ode to Michael Brown. Michael Brown was a 18 year old recent high school graduate who was accused of reaching into a cop's car to grab his gun. He was shot at several times and his body was left in the middle of the street for hours. This image is titled I Too Cry for America. It's a triptych showing three individuals of color blinded by the American flag but still crying for all the atrocities that are going on. This image is titled Made slash Made in America. On the left hand side we see a made man tracking his dirt across the American flag while a black maid is cleaning up his mess. Both of these are happening at the same time. This image is titled Very Fine People on both sides. On the left hand side we see a Klansman, right hand side a neo-Nazi, and we can guess who is in the middle. This image is titled Welcome Home, Ode to Amadou Diallo. Amadou was a black man who came home one night unarmed, but four police officers shot at him 41 times with 19 bullets hitting his body, killing him instantly. This image is titled The Exonerated Five, dedicated to the five young men of color from New York City who were accused of raping the Central Park jogger back in the 1980s. They did not do it, but they had to serve many years in prison and they are still battling PTSD today. This image is titled Next, where we see a black man being hung by an American flag. And the question is, what's going to happen next? What is he going to do next? And what are we going to do next? This image is a non-self portrait called Blow, where individuals who are battling addiction have their whole world turned upside down even when they're crying out for help. This image is titled Shooting Up. We see a woman injecting herself with heroin and she's using an American flag belt to do so. This image is titled Justice or just us, where we see people of color are more likely to do longer terms in prison compared to their white counterparts who commit the same crime. This image is titled Net Worth, where we see so many young people who have one in a million chance to make it into major sports. This image is titled Uncle Sambo, and this is pointing directly to individuals in politics who are not serving the people, but are simply feeding their own belly. This image is titled Suppression of Speech, Tragic Hero, where we see a young man who is exercising his right to free speech 
even though it, it has caused him to be imprisoned even though he's bound he is still writing the words that's coming from his heart this image is titled i can't breathe owed to eric gardner eric gardner was killed by several police officers where he was choked to death and his last words was i can't breathe This image is titled American Lynching Cotton, speaking about the power of King Cotton and how many, many millions of African Americans lost their lives simply for that one plant. This image is titled Protective Masks. As of today, over 150,000 Americans have died due to COVID. And even with that news, so many people are not protecting themselves and others by practicing social distancing and wearing masks. This image is titled Food Stamps. Because of COVID, there are so many people who are applying for government assistance to feed their families. This is a reminder of all of the people who don't have the luxuries of food like we have. This image is titled Shh. This image is titled Handcuffs for the Elite. They look like real handcuffs, but they're actually toy handcuffs where you could just flip a little switch and the cuffs come off, just like how so many people of influence are able to escape prison because of their power and prestige. This image is titled Behind the Curtain. On the left panel, we see a man holding up the black power sign. Then he transitions to hands up, and then he is being lynched because of the stance that he is taking. This image is titled, I Can't Breathe Again, Ode to George Floyd. Brother Floyd was accused of a crime and the police officer decided to play judge and jury by executing him in broad daylight, by putting pressure on him for eight and a half minutes until his very breath left his body. This image is titled, Hashtags. Many times in our communities when people are killed, their memory is being reduced to a simple hashtag tweet or an Instagram post. And I wanted to remind people that we are so much larger than a 10 second memory. And this last image is titled Reconciliation. We are now experiencing the realization of the dream and prayers of so many people from over the centuries. Now we are able to see true reconciliation between the races. Thank you everybody for viewing my exhibit. I appreciate your prayers and support. God bless.